Welcome to this AMA video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use and edit captions using YouTube or subtitles. So um, technology is getting better in terms of captions. There are quite a few apps and things like that that will automatically do captions. I've also done another AMA video where, which I will link somewhere about how you can use Word to free as a free transcriber of your video so you can have a look at that one if you wish but in this video I'm going to show you how to use YouTube and I like YouTube because it, it auto generates the captions so the reason that I use this is because I record my videos on a laptop I then edit them I have a Mac so I edit them in iMovie if you don't have a Mac and you have um, some other type of HP or whatever then I use a software called Filmora 9, which is quite good. It's from a company called Wondershare, and that one's quite good. There's a, a number of different editing options, but once you've edited them, they don't sort of add the captions in at that point. So what I do is I load my video up to YouTube, and then in about 24 hours or so, YouTube will auto-generate the captions, and then you can edit them. So I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. So we're going to log into YouTube. I'm going to go to one of my AMA videos and then we can use one of those. So the first thing is you want to find your video, so it'll be on your YouTube studio. I'm just going to click here to the playlist and pick one of my Ask Me Anything videos. As we know when I'm recording the uh, internet goes a little bit slow. <laughs> so. Let's pick one. Are you expert enough? Let's pick this one. So we want to edit the video. So we want to scroll down and click edit video. And this is the screen where everything is available to edit. If you scroll down here, show more, then there is um, languages when we go to subtitles and I'll click here. And to set the language, so we're going to set it as English. And then here, as you can see, I have some captions already created, to automatic. We need to duplicate to edit. And then here it brings up this window and I can now edit my captions. So you can click in here and change them. So I'll change that T to a capital. You can play. So on mine, you press the space bar and um, you press play here. I also like clicking pause while ty typing. So if you want to edit something then the video is not continuing to play when you're trying to edit something so you can click here as you can see here this is where the subtitles they've put the subtitles so you can click and drag these if they're not quite where you want them to be you can click in here and edit the text times this week with three separate people i've had the same conversation about being expert enough so this AMA. Okay, so um, this AMA I'm looking for, so if I scroll up there, I can type and edit. And then once you've finished doing all of your changes, you've edited your timings, you've edited your text, you can then click publish. This will publish those new titles for you. And then there's three dots here and you can click those, click download and click SRT. Most softwares use SRT files for subtitles. That's a really good one to pick. Although if you're doing it in a different format, you can choose one of the others. I'm going to click on that and it will have moved my head. You can see here that it is auto downloaded. At this point, I like to change the name because captions, you're just going to end up with lots of files that say captions. Uh, you're not going to know which is which. So I'm going to change my little title to expert enough captions, it's an SRT file, and now I have a captions file. So when I then go into another piece of software and they say, would you like to upload your captions? You can upload your video and then you can upload this caption SRT captions file and it will put the captions on the video. So I hope that's helped in terms of how you can use YouTube to create, edit uh, and publish your captions file.